Well, hey guys, I'm Nick and welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're talking about more Babylon 5 news. We've got some more details today about this new Babylon 5 animated movie that's coming out this year. And we're going to go through that brand new news, talk about the title, the cast, a bit about the story and everything that's just come out today regarding that. We've also got a beautiful picture of the station to have a look at, which shows the animation style. And I've got to say, it looks amazing. If anything, I'd say, uh, if, even though it's an animated project, it looks better than Babylon 5 looked back when it was live action. So that's going to be great to have a look at as well. So let's get into all this new news about the new animated Babylon 5 movie project. So for starters, the title, the title is Babylon 5 the Road Home. And it seems like it's a bit of a Sheridan time travel story, which could be quite interesting. We've got a glorious shot here. This, look at this. This is a beautiful shot of Babylon 5 Station. We've got Epsilon 3, the planet that Babylon 5 is orbiting there as well. Looking great. It, it looks it looks really, really nice. The animation style doesn't look super sort of sketchy or anything. There have been some really good animation projects or whatever in the, in the last few years with Star Trek Prodigy and the Bad Batch and the Rebels and Clone Wars and everything for Star Wars and everything, which have all looked really good. But this looks really good. This looks like it's a, a really nice animation style that's going to do Babylon 5 a, a huge amount of justice. And the headline that was put out today, courtesy of The Hollywood Reporter, was a Babylon 5 The Road Home voice cast unveiled. Exclusive J. Michael Straczynski's project brings back the original stars as well as new additions. So let's get into this article from Hollywood Reporter and see what it unveils for this new B5 project. A week ago, Babylon 5 creator J. Michael Straczynski revealed that a new animated film from the franchise was in the works, and now more details are coming to the surface. Babylon 5 The Road Home will continue the story he started in the 1990s with the logline stating, travel across the galaxy with John Sheridan as he unexpectedly finds himself transported through multiple timelines and alternate realities in a quest to find his way back home. Along the way, he reunites with some familiar faces while discovering cosmic new revelations about the history, purpose and meaning of the universe. This sounds really interesting. I love time travel stories. Uh, they're always really entertaining. And we, we got a little bit of that in the in B5 with the whole um, War Without End stuff, with the Babylon 4 appearing and reappearing, and then obviously Babylon 4 got transported to the distant past to be a staging ground for, for the, uh, the, the, the original Shadow War and everything. So there's been some really cool time travel episodes wrapped up in Babylon 5, which have always been entertaining. I mean, that War Without End double parter, I remember, you know, when, uh, obviously, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Babylon 5 yet, um, this is a pretty big reveal um, in, in that double part war that end episode I remember just watching it with my jaw hitting the ground we've had some really cool B5 uh, time travel stories and hopefully this will be another one now we get a little bit of information about cast of the new uh, the new show returning Babylon 5 cast members include Bruce Boxleitner as John Sheridan Claudia Christian as Susan Ivanova Peter Jurisic as Londo Malari Bill Moomy as Lanier, Tracy Scoggins as Elizabeth Lockley, and Patricia Tolman as Lita Alexander. Straczynski wrote the film and executive producers. Matt Peters, known for Batman and Superman Battle of the Super Sons, directs, with Rick Morales serving as a supervising producer. Sam Register is the executive producer on the project. The voice cast also includes Paul Guyette as Zathras and Jeffrey Sinclair, Anthony Hansen as Michael Garibaldi. Mara Junot as a reporter and computer voice, Phil Lamar as Dr. Stephen Franklin, Puerto Michael as David Sheridan, Andrew Morgado as Jakar, and Rebecca Reedy as Delenn. So this is really interesting. So obviously we're getting a big chunk of our surviving cast members uh, there who are voicing their characters, but we're also getting a few other new actors obviously voicing the characters whose actors have obviously tragically in the years since B5 finished have passed away. And JMS makes a little bit of a comment about this when he was asked about the casting and obviously casting new voice actors a bit in the uh, in the roles of, uh, of characters who actors have since passed on. He talked about the casting process and says that Warners did the first pass, then he picked the final selections. And by the way, before any of this start started, I emailed the surviving cast to ask if they'd be okay working with new actors portraying our fallen friends, and that if even one said no, we wouldn't do it. 
but they were all on board. So that's great that all our surviving cast members have been supportive of, of uh, getting voice actors in to, 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 uh, to revoice the characters we know and love. And then when asked how these new voice actors sort of went with the voicing of the characters we know and love from B5, obviously JMS talked about the script comes first, then casting, and the new actors that came in to play roles we already know, um, he said all of them understood the weight and responsibility of what they were being asked to do to memorialize and pay tribute to the way the original actors brought the characters to life. And everyone rose to the occasion. So that's really encouraging that even though we don't have a Mira Ferlin or Andreas Katsoulis or Michael O'Hare amongst others with us anymore, at least the voice actors have, uh, you know, done a good, good job from what it sounds like to, to re-energize the spirit of, of what those actors brought to those roles. A few of those voice actors' names sound quite familiar. I certainly know that Phil Lamar has done a lot of voice acting work on the Star Wars projects from you know, uh, Clone Wars, Star Wars Rebels, Bad Batch and so forth. He's been a fairly regular voice actor in that show. And it's interesting to note we're getting, we're getting a char the character of David Sheridan in, the, in there. Obviously David Sheridan, the son of uh, Delenn and, and John Sheridan, was mentioned quite uh, regularly in the last sort of, um, you know, season or so of, of B5, but we never saw David Sheridan on screen. He was never portrayed by an actor. So uh, interesting that we're going to be getting him in this, uh, in this movie feature. Now, the Hollywood Reporter article goes on to say Babylon 5 began life as a film that aired on TV in 1993 and the ratings were strong enough that Warners ordered a series that ran five seasons and 110 episodes. Straczynski has continued expanding the story of Babylon 5, a five mile long space station seen in neutral space for various alien species to interact amid the backdrop of a threat of war. It spawned multiple feature length TV films, comics and novels, as well as the spin-off series Crusade. Warner Brothers Animation and Warner Brothers Discovery Home Entertainment are plotting a summer release for the new animated feature. Straczynski has plugged the new film with words such as raucous, heartfelt, non-stop and called it a love letter to the fans. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Summer release date. Okay, so we know it's going to be released this year somewhere between June and August. If I had to guess, I'd probably say uh, more likely August, I would say, than June or July, but who knows, we might we might be getting it sooner, but at least we haven't got long to wait. We've only just been found out about this news, and within three or so months, we're going to be getting it on our TV screens. There's, there's no news just yet about which streaming service is going to offer it, in terms of uh, who has, well, I'm not sure which streaming services have the rights to Warner Brothers Entertainment. It'll be interesting whether it streams on the one platform globally, or whether it's different streaming services internationally. So that's really cool news about this new Babylon 5 project. We've got some information, we've got, we've got a glimpse at what uh, the animation style is looking like, we've got a title, we've got a cast list of who's going to be in it, and a bit of a synopsis about what the story is going to be in terms of its time travel component and everything. So it looks like a really cool project and I'm really super looking forward to it. It's been so long since we've had any uh, B5 content uh, and this is a really welcome um, surprise that we're, that we're getting this year uh, with original cast members voicing it. So that's great news. But guys, let me know what your thoughts are. Uh, please leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you're most excited for in terms of this new B5 an animated film. What of this news we've talked about today, what excites you the most about what we've spoken about? Let me know your thoughts. As always, guys, if you haven't subscribed to Cyphernetics, please don't be shy to do so. Click on that big subscribe button to stay current and up to date with all the latest sci-fi TV news on YouTube. Be sure to check out my merch in the merch store. Plenty of uh, plenty of sci-fi TV, Star Trek, and other. Um, this B. I think I've even got a B. I've got a B5 T-shirt in there as well. There's Star heaps of Star Trek stuff. Uh, there's there's plenty of. Um, merch there in the merch store. Check it out. Always at really good uh, bargain prices and everything and help support the channel at the same time. Guys, I'll be back very soon with my next video. I'll see you soon.